All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the video that you all have been waiting for, is the Holly Sniper uh, troubleshooting video. Um, what I mean by that is a lot of you guys are having issues where it's not running correctly, whether it's shutting down, running rich, um, idle, just idling funky, idling high, shutting off, going down the road, stalling out, whatever. Uh, whatever it's doing, this is going to help you guys out. All right. This is going to be a long video. I'll just tell you that up front. Um, but we're going to start with my little diagram right here. And we're going to start right here. Spark plug wires. Why are they important? Well, yeah, have you ever noticed on an old vehicle going down the road, a carbureted application, and you hear this hissing going through the radio every time you hit the gas, all right? All right every time you hit the throttle. Now, what it's doing is that your spark plug wires are actually trying to communicate back and forth from the distributor down to the spark plugs, all right? Now, when they're communicating, that is actually picking up in the radio sequence, this RFI, all right? Now, we can actually suppress that using the correct wires. They do make wires that are RFI su suppression mostly in fuel injection applications because they want to cut down on the noise. Now, you have your air cleaner stud right here, okay? And this is why it's important on, an, on a Holly Sniper is because the computer is built in to the throttle body itself on most snipers. And this, so you have a stealth or you have a computer type of fuel injection system that's off from the throttle body, all right? It's off, it's in the cab somewhere, all right? This, this rod will pick up these frequencies from each side talking to this stud, all right? Now, what we can do, Holly does not tell you to change this, and then we even offer a rod to replace this either. That's non-conductive. Okay, when you mount your sniper to that intake, guess what? It's grounded. Your whole engine is grounded, all right? And that's what causes this interference because it's trying to pick up all this noise and send it straight to the throttle body, all right? That's what's going on. Now, when you change the rod and it's non-conductive, which means it will not pick up all this communication that's going along around all this and sending it back to the throttle body. How does that make sense? Okay, remember when it was just carbureted and it was trying to send it all back to the radio? Radio was trying to pick it up. Throttle body's trying to do the same thing. And if you change that rod and you change these spark plugs to where they're RFI suppression and a non-conductive Rod, guess what? Zero communication. It's like me taking a cell phone and it's gone. We drop the call. Same difference, all right? Also included in that is spark plugs. Okay, yeah, spark plugs. Yeah, they're all the same. No, they're not. I went down the parts store and I grabbed two spark plugs, okay? One is an NGK4091 racing spark plug, all right? These are non-resistor type <clears throat> in racing applications. They want the most going to their spark ignition systems, okay? But what happens is <clears throat> you have all this taken back to where they want all the juice going back to this spark plug, including the, uh, the spark plug that's in a racing application that is a non-resistor type, which means high resistance, goes back to my um, electric video, I guess, uh, where it went over some things. <clears throat> high resistance, less power. Same thing when you're trying to diagnose a ground or a power issue. If you have higher resistance, you have less power, all right? So, 
They want more power because they don't have a resistor. There you go. That's why the spark plugs are important. This one here is a resistor type, all right? Made for applications. So, how do you find the spark plugs for your application? Good question. Because it even was, for me doing this for 13, 14 years, it was even difficult for me to find the spark plug for my application with aluminum heads, all right? For throttle body if I wanted to do it. You can see, I don't have a Holly Sniper in front of me, but I sell them. Sell them every day and I have questions about these things every day. I can't get this thing to run right. I want to return, I want to get my money back. Let me tell you something, guys. Holly Sniper system is actually a good, very good system. If you do this, if you can get back past this headache to make it run correctly, you have no problems. No problems whatsoever with it. You know, over time things get worn out. Yeah, you might need a fuel pump or something like that, or maybe an injector, because an injector, all it is is just a little coil, and it just sends power to fire it. That's all it is, just like a coil on a spark plug. Works the same way. So, um, let's see here. All right, spark plugs. So, what I've done is how to get it to my application is I've taken, uh, went to Rock Auto and uh, went to uh, just go select your vehicle and go over to Spark Plugs, go over to Info on your Spark Plugs, whatever one that you're wanting to look at. And then it will tell you off to the side, type. And it'll say, um, non-resistor type or resistor type. Okay, it will tell you that. Now, like I said, you want resistor type in your sniper system, all right? That's important. Now, the threaded rod. Threaded rod is probably the most important one, all right? Because that actually cuts down all of this, going back to that. Everything that it picks up will cut it down. It won't, they won't talk to it. It's like a radio antenna or a cell phone antenna tower where it's trying to pick up all the communication that's coming to it. Now, there is a video out on YouTube and it's very hard to find. It took me forever to find the video and you guys might recognize them and I want to see if I can find that video and put the link in the bottom of this <clears throat> of this video to where you can find it. But he does tell you to change the rod. Okay? But what he doesn't tell you where to find it. which I've done, and it took me forever to find it. Granger or Amazon, which Am or Granger does sell on Amazon, the threaded rod that you need. It is a 5 16 by 18 nylon rod, which means it's non-conductive, right? And it says it, but the rod is like three foot long and it's like $48, all right? It's expensive, and you just have to cut it and put it in there, just like if you were to buy an air cleaner stud and you had to trim it to fit anyway. But <clears throat> that right there is probably your most important one is the rod, all right? Now, also on the sniper systems, I ran into this the other day. If you have an older um, Avenger series, this is the downfall of some of your um, I guess aftermarket parts is if they discontinue this, good luck trying to find the parts for it because I ran into that this week. This guy had a 13 year old Avenger series and he lost the little display where it gives you all the information. He lost it. Call Holly. No, nope, sorry, man. Uh, we don't make it anymore. It's discontinued, it's obsolete. He's like, well, the only thing you can do, um, you might have to look, look on eBay or somebody who's got an old kit, just use it or buy it or whatever. Well, good luck, because ain't nobody going to sell it without the whole entire kit, and it's 13 years old. Um, that's one of the downfalls of buying the aftermarket parts for like some of these electronic stuff. Um, even dealership has that kind of issue, like the ABS systems and the ABS brakes. Um, 
but let's see I had a question and he's like well can you take the one off the new sniper system and connect it into that old Avenger series called up Polly nope firmware is different and they don't even have a connector to even hook it up anyway so you strike out both so there's nothing out those for those Avengers. They're just obsolete. Can't even get you can't even get parts for them anymore. Not even the injector. So guys, out of luck. He's gonna have to buy a whole brand new system. And I gave him the link to this video to watch this when he goes to hook it up, because this stuff right here is important. Now, since I've done this, and since I've told customers that you need to change your spark plug wires, which the ones that we do sell at Performance are RFI suppression. They are, they will work, all right? The only things that we don't have are the spark plugs that are the non-resistor type. Or, you know, that's the only ones we have are the non-resistor type. We do not have resistor type spark plugs. And uh, it's kind of hard to find for the resistor type for your application. And on aluminum heads, what I've found with my research is with aluminum heads is a 14 millimeter 750 reach, okay, with a resistor type. Which, when I went down to the parts store, I asked for, but you can see the head is pretty big. Now, I don't know. I haven't tried it in my cylinder heads at the house. They are aluminum. I will see if they will work in there without them touching the cylinder heads because of this large, um, I guess, right, we put your wrench on. I don't know what they would call that, but whatever. Um... And this is the smaller one. You see the big difference. Uh, I would say that they would work since it sticks out farther. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. But it's still the same reach. Okay. Yep, still the same reach. Right there. Alright. Now. So... On the threaded rod, I'm going to put the link in the description and below, and the spark plug wires that I'm using for my small block will be in the link below as well that are the resistor type or the uh, RFI suppression wires. All right, I will put the links in the bottom of the video so that way you can actually find all the stuff what you need. All right, and also that video if I can find it. All right. He did a good job of explaining. Now, when you go and put this the the sniper on your engine, follow those directions. Those directions are good. All right, you do need to follow everything that it says. Where you need to route your wires and how to route them. That's important because you don't want it communicating back to your throttle body. Same difference with this. That's why they tell you to route your wires differently. Now, um. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Yep, we're good. Uh, maybe it wasn't as long as I thought it would be, but I think I pretty much got it. All right, man. All right, guys. This is this is it. Uh, that's the end of this video. And if I think anything else, I'll just put uh, another video up on the Holly Sniper, and I'll just make it number two, or I'll put a number beside it or something like that. Um, or other things to know is what I might uh, title it as. There you go, guys. That's what you need to know, and that's what you need to make it run. All right? I'll catch you on the next video.